This is Phil's big bike. Quick look. On the surface of it, this bike might look a bit too conventional for my build, but imagine this. You're seven foot tall and you want a good commuter tourer chrome ollie bike with a permanent rack. There's not a lot of options out there. And that was exactly the conundrum that Phil was in when he came in and met me. He liked our stuff, was really into our brand, but just really wanted a really durable, dependable workhorse of a bike. I like to think of it as kind of, I guess, the beginning or the return of the iron horse, you know, the red robust bike to depend on to get around on so uh, we built this for Phil so Phil's bike features a top tube effective probably around about 50 millimeters longer than a six foot rider it's actually too big for me to really effectively ride and test for him uh, but that's the size he needed because of his seven foot frame you'll also notice that we went for a permanent rack and a little more wheelbase the reason for the extra wheelbase is if you're seven foot tall you've also got big feet and big feet can kick panniers. So just stretching the back wheel out means there's room for his pannier bags and all his gear when he wants to go on tour. Phil also wanted to be able to pull a trailer every now and then. So you'll see that we've just, as part of the through axle setup here, there is a boss specially designed to hold onto uh, a trailer mount here. That's uh, a 10 mil, so it'll take you know, most of the receivers for the uh, regular cargo trailers you might want to use. Phil also specified a kickstand, which makes sense. You know, you want a bike full of gear, you need to be able to put it down. So we used this double leg stand, but we had to put an extender in it so that we could have the bottom bracket height up to where Phil would like it for his size. Front end features a Paragon Machine Works uh, 44 millimeter head tube, and we're using a RockShox e-bike fork here, which has the bigger stanchions, which is really nice for uh, Phil's extra weight. Uh, we're running on 29 inch wheels obviously and uh, Schwabe G1 tyres which I think is a great choice, nice fast rollers but plenty of pneumatic volume to uh, make the bike uh, feel nice. Phil's tastes in comfort are similar to mine, he went for the Brooks B17, the old dependable and using a thud buster seat post beneath it. Um, what a great all day saddle, not quite as good as a recumbent but pretty damn close. So if you dig this build, you probably dig some of the other stuff we make. Uh, like and subscribe to the channel to see notifications of future builds. Also visit the Trisled website blog section to see some of the other customs we built. Cheers!